And today I actually deliver another stream of Banana Fish. We're good to go, we're good to go, we are good to go, I believe. Yes, we are. So, yes, Banana Fish. Uh, we actually are return. <laughs> I actually can't. <laughs> I actually can't speak. I don't know what happened to me just now. My brain just stopped. We actually have returned. To actually, cover episode twenty of Banana Fish, and as we know, episode nineteen was kind of the most. Oh, it was. It was the most hardest one to sit through. I believe the second core itself. Actually, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember as kind of like heavy episode beforehand. It's been heavy episodes, don't get me wrong. It's been it's one of those series that how it has heavy episodes. But episode twenty to the second core is like jeez, my my heart. Just save me. <laughs> save me. Get Ash out of there. Aji, just save the boy already. Just, just stop my heart from breaking at this point. But yes, I mean it's a very hard episode to sit through. But the problem was also the more determined Aji as well actually kind of it just it's an interesting kind of development for Aji's character because now we kind of see him take the more active role and actually become the kind of pseudo uwu Rambo, as I like to call him at this point. It actually might be, might be interesting to see him actually kind of go through with the plan he's actually got currently, actually kind of go and save Ash. But I would actually love to see him save him because, God damn it, my heart needs to be saved at this point. I just, I still haven't got, episode, still haven't got over, over last week's episode and I don't think I ever will, so I just need to feel that sense of like, oh, kind of, my heart being... Not so, not so destroyed. I want to see him save him. I want to see him save him. That's the main thing. Also, kind of, we kind of get this idea that Lee's character is kind of getting to this point, and then there's going to be a downfall, downfall for him as well. Which might be interesting to see what actually doesn't very happen with him because this the narrative is actually kind of setting up his kind of pseudo downfall in a way. So I want to see whether or not he's actually doing for go through with that downfall. Whether or not he actually just, he just gets out, gets out completely fine. Who knows? That's the kind of major thing of the show. You just don't know. So anyway, let's actually put on Twitter actually gone live for Banana Fish. So on Twitter we actually go. So gone live. Oh no, gone live for Banana Fish episode twenty. And I believe with that. I believe with that. I like to believe with that. Can I believe with that? Can I believe? Can I believe? We're good to go. We are good to go. We're absolutely good to go. So, anyway, let's actually put this into full strength. Actually, a show on the road. So, in three, two, one, let's actually start this thing absolutely now. Even even uh, Blanca was like Jesus Christ. I still actually kind of wonder if when anything actually happened with Blanca's character because he's kind of set up to kind of be the slight humanity in this kind of evil evil place that Ash is in currently. It might not even happen, but it kind of sets him up to be that kind of, in a way, humanity. Kind of in a way. It's not complete humanity, but it's slightly there. So actually possibly might help Ash out in the end. Who knows? But then again, it's actually been moments where it kind of con it kind of contradicts that whole entire idea. So you're constantly like, okay, so what? So where's this character going to go towards? Is he going to go anywhere? Or will, he or will he just kind of stop, if you get what I mean? Who knows? You just don't know this. You don't know this show really when you think about it, because characters kind of are set up to actually kind of contradict certain things. 
Because Lee's that kind of character that con constantly contradicts what you actually expect to actually happen next. So I wonder if Blanc is actually set up to, set up to be exa exactly the same. Or is Blanc is set up to actually be um, Lee's downfall? That's the other thing to know. Who knows? Oh my god, he's so cute. AG is so adorable. You do it, my lad. You do it. Indeed, damn. Indeed, damn. That little bit of hesitation with AJ's character just then when he shot um, Dino was actually kind of interesting because it kind of tells you like he's he's ready to do whatever it takes to save Ash, but at the same time he's very inexperienced. So it kind of adds that whole entire urgency, if you get what I mean, to the actual scene itself. It's actually kind of well done, in a way.
He's so adorable. Age is so adorable, it breaks my heart. Oh, this boy's breaking my heart at this point. This boy's breaking my heart. But also kind of sort of mending it at the exact same time. Why is this boy so perfect? It is also mildly interesting that he's um, he's been saved, but he's kind of not fully saved because his health's actually kind of in jeopardy still. It's an interesting concept because it kind of makes this whole entire idea, this urge, un urgency and kind of une unease to the whole entire to the whole entire event now because you're kind of wondering what's going to happen to him. Is he is he going to faint at any point? It's instead of unease or unease, un un more uncertainty. Is a word. It's a better word to use. Oh, please don't. Please don't, AG. Please don't.
I'm still, I'm still, I'm still wondering what's happened with Blanca's character. Whether or not he's just creating a ruse for um, Lee as Lee as well. I'm wondering. Oh. It's also interesting that Lee's one of these characters that kind of is able to talk quite well, but when when an event comes that he doesn't know how to handle, he breaks instantly. So it happened when um, it happened when um, Lee was talking to Ash, saying, "Look, you got to shoot yourself," and then he and then he agrees to it straight away. He's like, "How? He's like, what?" Because I imagine he kind of has a he has a, a idea what's going to happen next. It doesn't go the way he expects. It just kind of breaks him completely. It's mildly interesting when you think about it. Oh, that shot was amazing. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Oh 
Oh no. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Oh. Oh. So it does kind of set up exactly the possibly, I guess it's already been doing it already, but more importantly nowadays, in the last part of this core, that Lee might have become a major antagonist for the whole entire um, core itself, not just Dino, which is mildly interesting. I actually kind of like what they did with um, Lee's character in this episode as well, because as I said during the, actual, during the actual stream itself, he's a character that kind of, I'm guessing, has a kind of mindset. And the mindset he has, he achieves something in the end. He achieves possibly victory in the end. And when these things slowly go wrong, he can't kind of cope. And he co and he just destroys under pressure. So you kind of saw it. I mean, yeah, the actual event itself was actually one of those things that would spook, it would spook anyone. But I imagine there's probably a prospect in his mind that he actually had a victory in his mind, but it didn't go the way he expected. He completely broke under pressure. I mean, it's been kind of hinted at slowly as the series went on that he has 
this mindset. I mean, as I, as I said during the stream itself, with the whole thing with Ash, Ash kind of shooting himself. That whole entire scene it proves to you that he has this mindset that he will achieve victory in the end, but then it doesn't. It doesn't go away. It doesn't go the way expected because he believes something else would actually happen instead. And it's kind of shown here. It's been kind of shown for the whole entire series, but just it just took me now to realize it. But yeah, I mean. Overall, I actually really did like that episode a lot. It was one of those episodes that really did a lot to actually kind of set up the actual end game, end game for this whole entire series in a way. Because let's face it, it's actually just set up the entirety of what's going to happen in the rest of this core. The idea we've got Dino now, and we also got Lee more more than beforehand. And also possibly Blanca as well, but Blanca's kind of character is still a mystery because you just don't know what you're going to do and what you actually might infer accomplish in this whole entire core, for the rest of it at least. Because, I'm, because, as I said beforehand, he's a character that exhibits kind of humanity in a way, but it's one of those humanities that you kind of wonder, is it all just a, is it just a thinly veiled excuse? It's one of those kind of um, things of his character, you just don't really know. You have no idea what he would actually do, and then what he's actually trying, what he's actually thinking, whether or not he's, he's very manipulative in the way he speaks. But he's actually able to speak very well, so it's one of those ideas that you kind of wonder, is the way that he speaks quite well, it's very manipulative, and he actually is just manipul manip manipulating everyone in his, in his power. Who knows? It was an interesting thing for his character, I must say. But yeah, I mean, I liked that we had AG and Ash actually kind of coexisting in this world in a way. Kind of in a way, you had Ash doing his own plan, you had AG doing his own plan. I mean, AG, yeah, it didn't really go the way he expects it. But at the same time, in the end, it kind of... It kind of proves to you that he's actually growing, he's actually slowly learning, he's actually kind of getting to that point that I imagine a lot of people wanted him since, since episode one in a way. But it's actually kind of interesting that it just it took this long. But in in the in the meantime, he had a lot going on with his character anyway. It was actually just it was proof in this episode that he's a character who's still got a long way to go. And I like that about him. Because it's not as if he's just kind of went like that. He's actually able to shoot and actually aim and actually all those kind of things. No. He's not, he's able to plan, don't get me wrong, he's able to plan the whole entire thing out. But he's still he's still one of those people that actually can't kind of have a shootout in a way and I really like that the whole entire scene when he was actually hesitant and shot and actually then kind of missed a part of Dino's body it was very interesting because one of those things it proves you there and then that he's able to kind of carry out a plan but when the going gets tough he's still very kind of inexperienced I actually kind of like that because it kind of then spins this whole entire idea of what would actually happen if this happens again but actually isn't there actually something doesn't really happen to AG we just don't know so I mean he's one of those characters that's, a, that's, the, that's the term that termination does not very cloud his judgment sometimes. He's one of those people that's actually, as Ash says, he's quite reckless, but the recklessness actually does, actually does add a lot to his character. I really appreciate the fact that he actually is his reckless person because he's he's trying to save someone he cares about. It's actually, it's actually just mildly interesting. I just liked how they kind of framed Age's character in this episode. And also how that how they framed Ash's character's episode. I mean, it was just a, it was an all round very kind of facet, fascinating episode for the whole entirety of the characters themselves. But yeah, I mean... Who knows what's going to happen for the rest of this core at this point. I'm kind of fearing what's really going to happen. As I said, I said beforehand, this whole entire idea of the uncertainty this series causes makes you wonder what's going to happen. Whether or not Lee actually can in theory overpower Ash, you just don't know. Because there's always that miss, there's always that weakest link within Ash's character being kind of in a way agey, but slow changing as time goes on. But there's, there's, always, this, there's always this lingering idea of what could actually really happen if the going gets tough. That's the problem. Because one person can actually probably still interpret the fact that they're missing the missing link or the weakest link, in a, in oh my throat, in a way, is AG, but it's not at the same time. It's one of those, he's one he's one of those characters I'm guessing that actually that actually Kevin Fury kind of handled himself at this point. He actually didn't free handle um handle Lee, so it'd be interesting to see what actually doesn't free happen. I'm just, I'm just kind of I'm kind of fearful because you just don't know. Because again, it's one of those things that you AG still. Ex he still exhibits these ideas of kind of being very inexperienced in a way. It's one of those things that is actually kind of mildly interesting. He's inexperienced. So that inexperience can infer cost him quite a lot. Who knows what it can infer cost him? It's, it's just it takes it take it's gonna take a while. That it's probably gonna take that. It's just it's just a wait and see kind of thing. Is what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, my brain just stopped. It's, wait, it's a wait and see kind of thing. If you get what I mean. 
So it'd be, in it'd be interesting to kind of um, see where this, all this whole entire core actually goes at this point, whether or not season 3 kind of land us in a happy ending or kind of, in a way, a sad ending, because it's one of those things you can't really predict the outcome. And I actually kind of like the fact that she kind of had the whole entirety of the second half of the episode kind of take place in some way, because it's one of those things that actually doesn't really kind of have the idea that you had a lot going on in subways. It just it's, it had a, it spun the whole entire thing now. It's actually kind of not so fearful in a way. It's actually kind of one of those things that she doesn't really actually help. In a way, it's actually kind of interesting. It's actually kind of framed the whole entire scene in a subway in a way, especially what happened with Arthur as well. But one of the interesting things I actually kind of like is that you actually kind of get, you actually kind of get to see how much of a monster Ash actually really is a person when he actually doesn't really fight. The whole entire scene inside the um, inside um, the the museum. It feels just like something that actually would happen to Batman. Like it feels very much like that. He feels like a Batman in a way. It feels like if he actually had to, had to reincarnate Batman into like the present day in a way, it would have Ash because Ash is kind of exhibits a lot of what Batman actually can can in theory do. And it's, it's one of those things that you always kind of always kind of interpreted Blanca as kind of one of those Ra's al Ghul kind of type characters. The idea of a kind of a mentor for him. It's actually kind of interesting in a way. So yeah, I kind of, I was, I, it was kind of scary because you just saw him just like kind of go in and out of darkness, actually kind of then take the person out. I liked how they framed it in the in the actual perspective of the person being killed because it kind of then adds that whole entirety of that like, oh my god kind of aspect to this whole entire scene. And then when he actually arose in the shadows behind Lee as well, it was just, it creates that just... Ooh, kind of moments. He was like, oh man, that's actually kind of scary. Because again, we've seen him do these things beforehand, but seeing it again just kind of kind of reminds you, look, he knows way too much, and it's kind of terrifying, in a way. But it's actually very interesting, because he's actually one of those people that actually knows how to get, get out of a situation when they go and get tough, in a way. So it's actually kind of interesting to actually kind of see him do it. So I actually, I actually do kind of like this whole interaction about him. This, this kind of uh, Batman-esque nature to him is actually very, it's actually very interesting. So yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens in the rest of the core, I guess, in a way, because it's one of those things. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see what actually doesn't really happen. The end game, at least, was gonna actually happen there. So yeah, that is me of today. So actually, as always, if you have enjoyed this whole entire stream on Twitch, then do leave that good old follow on Twitch because indeed it does something quite a bit. And also, actually, haven't yeah, 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 actually haven't yeah, Jesus Christ, <laughs> my brain's stopping today. If you haven't enjoyed it here on YouTube and you do want to leave a like, then do leave a like because indeed there's something quite a bit. And if you actually haven't enjoyed it here on YouTube and you want to stay a bit longer, then do leave that good old sub on YouTube because indeed there's something quite a bit. And also, if you want to stay a bit longer off that point, then do follow me on Twitter because indeed there's something quite a bit. You know which streams go live and any of the streams I do as well. If Twitter is not your thing, I do in free on Discord server as well, which doesn't free tell you when these streams go live and any of the streams I do as well. But until next episode 21 of Banana Fish, I will see you guys later. Bye for now.